I wasn't ready. I, I just wasn't ready. Hello, human. Click that subscribe button. A Godzilla movie to talk about. Let's get into it. This film showcases the Japanese at the end of World War II. A kamikaze pilot lands on a Japanese base. And it seems like, okay, we got some time to think. We got some time to just think about what matters in life. And the scene transition is this motherfucker Godzilla shows up and starts wrecking house. I am talking about clawing, swinging his tail, stumping around, killing these Japanese humans left and right. They're like, what the fuck is going on? Our, our bullets are not effective. What the fuck are we going to do? <laughs> and then they just, they getting killed and stuff. I'm like, how are you supposed to beat something like that? Well, what you going to do? Throw a grenade at it? Hit it with a missile? Hit it with some bullets? Hit it with a ship? Hit it with a plane? Like, what, what you going to do? Because Godzilla is unstoppable. I mean, even if you hurt him, right? He's just taking a nap. He's just going to sleep it off. And he ain't going to get back up and fuck your shit up. Kill everybody that you know and then sleep like a baby at the bottom of the sea. On a scale from 1 to 10. 1 being horseshit on a hot smelly as day and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing i'm gonna get this movie an 8.5 out of 10 this movie is fantastic and this is coming from a dude that don't even like godzilla i, I just don't be fucking with godzilla like that and it's interesting to me how the human characters are good in this movie even though nobody nobody in this trash world watches godzilla any of the godzilla movies for the human characters. Now granted you don't want the human characters to be bad. But anyone that's a fan of Godzilla. Is a fan of Godzilla. They're there to see him. And he's kind of sprinkled throughout the movie. But every time he shows up. Godzilla wants you to know that he's the star of the movie. He's like yo this is my movie. What the fuck you humans doing here? Death. Oh there we go. There's another human. Death. Oh you think you tough. Death. You want some more? Death. That's, that's how Godzilla is. I mean, he don't talk or nothing like that, but he just got a way about him, his body language. He just be looking at these humans like, so you have chosen death. You don't get it that this planet is mine. Earth is mine because I am Godzilla. I was like, you know what? I understand. When you're big and powerful, everything else, that shit's like nothing to you. It's like some ants and shit. It's like, fuck up out my way. Why are you always in my way? Here I am walking on land. You got to crash into me. Here I am just, just in the sea doing my thing, chilling. You got to, you know, roll up with your fucking ships and shit and hit me with missiles. Y'all disrespectful. That's why I'm killing everybody in this movie. That's how Godzilla was thinking. But if you're a Godzilla fan, you got to check this out because you just may like it. I'm not a Godzilla fan and I appreciate certain things about it. But I'm not going to necessarily watch it again because I'm still not a Godzilla fan. I'm not going to just act like it just because, you know, this movie is fantastic. But I'm just letting you know what's up. But shout out to Godzilla fans because they have been eating good for the last several years. I'm just saying. Terrence out.